everybody. Thank you for joining me here for another session. Um, today I'm going to be answering the email that was sent to me by a Libra young lady. Of course, I don't mention names, and it was a really short message, so let's just get right into it. I'm trying to ask a guy out, and I don't know how to ask him, and I'm nervous, and I don't know what he'll say. What do I do if he says no, and how do I ask him? Signed, Libra. Well, first of all, it just kind of surprises me that you're nervous about this, because Libras, as a whole, are very sociable people. You know, air signs are very sociable, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras. And so the fact that you're nervous about approaching him, I find it to be kind of funny, because I'm like... Hmm, that seems very out of character. But anyway, I'm going to just focus on you, um, you know, and then try to give you some good pointers on how to deal with the situation. Because you really don't need a lot of help. Libras are incredibly charming people. And I'm sure you probably hear this all the time. You know, you are like the natural, just natural charmers of the zodiac. You know, it's, it's not contrived with you. It's not fake. You just are very charming. You're very sweet and funny. And people tend to gravitate towards you without effort because you're, you like running in different types of circles. Like, you can pretty much fit in wherever you are. And people like you for that reason. Um, you're very romantic and sweet. Like, you love the idea of being in love and, and the whole hand-holding and walking on the beach and just being all lovey-dovey. You know, you really like that type of stuff. Like, me personally, I can't relate because I'm a Scorpio and I really can't stand romantic type of stuff like that, but... For you, um, people really like that, you know, and also, like I said, you know, you're far from shy, and when you are really liking a person, or if you are in a relationship where you're just dating people, you think of everything as we. You're not selfish, and you're not self-centered. Okay, you're kind of self-centered, <laughs> but in a superficial, like, type of way. Um, but yeah, when you're with someone, you think of everything as we, like, this is ours. You know, it, it's not mine or I. It's it's all about you as a couple. And um, but the thing about you also, Libra, is that you can be a serial dater. Like you really don't like being alone, and you work well being with another person. You know, being a couple, you really don't know what it's like to be single for long periods of a time because it always seems like you're attached to someone at some point in your life. So the fact that you have a crush on this guy, quite frankly, I don't think it's going to last. Because crushes don't last. Crushes last for as long as you are infatuated with that person. But it doesn't mean that you're, act, you know, that you're actually going to, you know, really like that person once you really get to know them. Like, I don't know how well you know this guy, but honestly, I really don't think that your crush on him is going to last. Because you can lose interest very quickly. Like, if someone else comes along who you just think is really, really cute, then you're going to go for that person because you tend to look at the physical. You can be kind of superficial. You know, you look at the, phys the physical and you say, okay, he's really cute, and think that he's a great guy just because he's cute. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I don't think that this crush is going to last long. Or maybe it will. Now, as far as how to approach him, I think you should just go for it because, like I said, you're a naturally sociable person. You're very funny and sweet and down to earth, and people tend to, you know, gravitate towards you. You know, you have great magnetism about you. So, nine times out of ten, this guy probably has a crush on you, too, and doesn't know how to approach you. So, I would just say, you know, approach him and just start off with a joke, because you have a great sense of humor. Um, but like I said, I, I, just, I just feel like as soon as you really get to know this guy you're probably going to lose interest because it's going to be one thing, one silly minor thing that's going to turn you off and then you're going to see somebody else at the corner of your eye and you're going to be on to the next one. I really believe that Libra. I could be wrong, but something tells me this crush isn't going to last long. Um, and the thing about you is you're not obsessive in that way. Like you're obsessive in a way like you wonder if people are wondering about you. And you'll think about it over and over again, like with this guy. I'm pretty sure you're like, okay, does he like me? Does he think I'm cute? Does he think I have nice hair or whatever? Like, you're constantly, like, obsessing over is he obsessing about you. And so you're not, like, obsessive in a traditional sense. You know, not to say that that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, that's what you really focused on. Like I said, with you, Libras, you're very superficial, and you just tend to see the physical 
rather than really trying to get to know someone on a deeper level. You're a stickler for personal hygiene and you really like someone who knows how to take care of themselves, who knows how to go out and, and be dressed up for, you know, certain occasions. You like people who keep it classy and simple, but you also like someone who is definitely financially well off, so you don't ever have to worry about running out of the latest fashions, the latest styles, the latest trends. You're up on all of that. So you really like someone who is on that level too. You know, it has the you know, the latest shoes or the latest hairstyles or the latest clothes or whatever the case may be. Um what else? You really do take a lot of pride in your personal appearance. Because like I said, you're very focused on the physical. So if you are with a person who is just as focused on the physical as you are, you don't mind that at all because if he's like checking himself out four or five times before you even walk out the door together, you're probably right along with him doing the same thing. So you tend to um, attract people who are just as self-absorbed as you are. But I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm just being honest. And, I, you know, uh, if you really think about it, you know I'm telling the truth. Um, I really don't want you to go and worry about this whole situation too much because a crush is a crush. You know, and like I said earlier, I really don't think this is going to last long. I don't think it's really going to go anywhere because I think that as soon as you really get to know this person, you're going to be like, uh, maybe not. So, um, with that said, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And as far as him saying no, like he's not interested, that's not a possibility. That's not going to happen. Of course he's interested because, you know, you're inherently like, even if people aren't really attracted to you in a physical sense, and I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just being honest, like, there's something about you that people will just gravitate towards. Libra, all Libras have that. All Libras have that charming, magnetic personality. It makes people, people want to get to know you. They want to talk to you. They want you in their circle. So, as far as him saying no to you, that's not going to happen. I guarantee you that won't happen. My worry is, and this is something I said, like, twice before already, is that once you get to know him... You're not going to like what you find out. I could be wrong, and please, feel free to email me and tell me that I was dead wrong, because I'm interested now in finding out how this is going to work out. But um, that's the best advice I can give you, Libra, and I really hope that things work out the way you want them to. And I really hope I answered all your questions. I hope I did. And I just thank you for coming to me and asking me for my advice. I thank all of you out there for viewing. And if you have any questions that you want some advice on, feel free to contact me. As I always say, my username is the same on MySpace, Yahoo, and YouTube, Creative Writings 24-7. So until then, I hope I hear from you guys soon. Bye.